good morning. I'm talking to Zvi Lando today. Zvi is an internet specialist here in Israel. Hi, Zvi. How are you? Okay. How are you doing? Good. Thank you. Zvi, I believe that you are one of the first pioneers of the internet in Israel. Can you tell me a little bit about that and about your experiences? Yeah, it's a it's a long story. Uh, I'll try and be short. Uh, in 1991, I was introduced to a uh, all sorts of net, uh, networking that was starting out uh, in the United States then, and uh, came back to, to Israel and uh, and tried to push that through the whole thing about uh, the internet. And uh, uh, around 1991, I was contacted by a government uh, office, which asked me to start the first uh, is is the first Jewish network on the internet. And I took the took that uh, upon myself. That was back when the internet and the computer world was actually before Windows. So there was no text, uh, there was no pictures. It was all text. And um, the internet ran under Unix, which was uh, a very uh, clunky sort of like uh, DOS, if anybody remembers it. In, uh, I started this uh, internet uh, uh, program. I called it Jerusalem One. And uh, at the time, it was a big success. Uh, there, there were a lot of Jewish people through the uh, 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 universities in the United States, especially, but also in Europe. A lot of Jewish people that were connected on the internet at that time. Uh, I can tell you that at that time, there were they boasted of 25 million people connected to the internet. Okay, so you can sort of understand. Uh, another sort of funny story is that everybody always said that on Yom Kippur, the internet usage went down by 25%. So that's about how many Jews were on the internet at the time. Uh, uh, Jerusalem One, uh, in 1995, uh, uh, Jerusalem One, I think, I feel helped uh, uh, convince the, the Israeli government to open up the internet to the rest of the world and that's when public uh, internet became uh, available. So you've worked a lot with websites. What would you say are a few tips on what website, websites should be and websites shouldn't be? Oh, very good question. And this is something I tell my clients all the time. Your web, a website is your window into the world. No matter what you're trying to do, if it's personal, if it's business, if it's an organization, it's your window, and this is how people are going to see you. Okay, if you do not, if you don't have the time to run a good website, and you don't have the money to put in to make a good looking website, it's better for you not to have a website. There are, there are webs, we all go into webs, and we say, oh my, you know, I'll, I'll never buy a thing from this person, or I'll never have anything to do with this organization, just because for some reason, maybe the website or the design of the website is, is, is not pleasing to us. Or another terrible mistake is that I write to somebody on the website and I say, hey, I'm interested in your services, and they don't, they don't they come back to me by email. And if they don't come back to me by email, that's telling me this person is this person or this company is not serious and I don't want to deal with them. There's other people I can deal with. There's just so many. So I, I really need to be able to project a something that's going to be pleasing to my customer or my whatever the, I'm, I'm looking for. And how much of web work today is graphic design and how much of it is programming? A, there's a lot of programming going on because people want to have websites uh, that uh, they can control, that they can edit uh, uh, easily. Um, not, uh, I want, want to warn people who are looking for websites. Not every web builder is reliable, and they build what's easy for them. For instance, a, in my opinion, uh, Joomla, for instance, is widely used by web builders. It's very easy for them to build webs with Joomla. It's very difficult for their users to run the website on Joomla. 
This is something they don't tell people. And it's important to know. So uh, you really have to be uh, working with someone who's reliable, who will tell you the truth. What is social media, Zvi? Social media is this a, a, a strange thing that started out as a college kids uh, game on, on Facebook. And it's gone in uh, several the different directions. It's a way, a, all it is is a way for people who never could uh, find each other or work together uh, to be able to do so. I'm, you know, I'm connected uh, on Facebook with cousins of mine in the United States that, that I haven't talked to since I was a little kid. And so, you know, for me, it's wonderful. In, in saying that, I agree that there's a lot of silly things going on on Facebook and so forth and so forth. On the other hand, it really is a great way for people to connect. And if I talk about Facebook, I talk about Twitter. Twitter for me is, a, a, I found Twitter just a couple of years ago when the Arab Revolution started going around me, and I've gotten connected to a lot of a, people in Egypt and Syria and the Arab countries who I don't know if we're friends and I don't know if we really agree, but we talk to each other and we, we exchange information. And a, I get a lot of my news from from Twitter and not, on, and not from the newspapers anymore, for instance. Zvi, thank you so much for talking to me today. I really appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, John. We'll see you.